I am Elsa Maxwell, and I have a secret, a great big secret. Can you guess what it is? From, from Home Permanent, the new easy Home Permanent that needs no neutralizer and white rain, the fabulous new lotion shampoo that leaves your hair sunshine bright, present I've Got a Secret. Starring Gary Moore. Thank you. Thanks very, very much. And greetings again to you out there, my friends. Welcome to another session of I've Got a Secret, the new television game that tells the awful truth about some very nice people just for fun. Tonight we have some information about the private lives of some very interesting folk, which they're going to try to keep secret from our panel. And now, quite proudly, I would like you to meet our panel. First, a bright young television personality, Mr. Bill Cullen. Then the lovely motion picture and television actress, Miss Jane Meadows. Then one of the truly fine comedy actors of America, Mr. Eddie Bracken. And a charming addition to our group, the bright star of movies and television, Miss Kitty Carlisle. That is our panel. <laughs> nice to have you with us, Miss Carlisle. Indeed so. Now, in just a moment, I'm going to introduce you to a gentleman who has tonight's first... All right, now let's get started on this game of I've Got a Secret. How about your panel? Are you all set and ready to go? Ready to go. Yes, set. All Come right, on. then. Let's have our first contestant of the evening. Welcome, sir. <laughs> Sit right down. <laughs> sir, would you please tell us what your name is and where you're from? My name is Edward Zielinski. I'm from Erie, PA. Mr. Zielinski from Erie, Pennsylvania. All right, now here is how we play the game. Each panelist will get two questioning periods of 15 seconds each but the clock will only time the actual questions. In other words, we take time out for discussion and for audience response. Now, when a panelist's time is up, you will hear this miserable sound, and I will pay our guests $10 and turn the game over to the next panelist. Twice around the panel for a total loss of $80, and the game is over. Now then, let's get started, Mr. Zielinski. If you will whisper your secret to me, at the same time, I will review it to the folks out there. <laughs> Single wing back or T formation? <laughs> Move in here, nice and close to me. That's it. Now, to help classify this secret panel, I will tell you that it concerns a trip that Mr. Zielinski took. And we will start our questioning with uh, Bill Cullen. Uh, Mr. Zielinski, uh, this trip that you took, did you take it alone? No, not quite. <laughs> did you go with more than one other person? Yes, I did. Did you go with more than 20 other people? Yes. Big trip? Uh, did you all go for the same reason, Mr. Zelensky? No, I don't think so. You didn't go for the same reason. Did you all do the same thing when you got to where you were going? Uh, no. no more than any, any, any large group of people might do the same thing. Uh, this group that you went with, were they all men? No. There is $10 down and $70 to go. Miss Jane Meadows, please. Mr. Zielinski, they weren't all men. Were they by any chance all women? Yes, sure. Well, they were all women. Better. Did these women go along with you to watch you do something? <laughs> no. No? Did you teach them anything? I don't think so. Mr. Zielinski says he doesn't think so, no. You didn't think so. Could you have done the same thing with less than 20? Yes. 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 Easily. <laughs> Was it better, though, with a larger group? <laughs> Could you have done the same thing with all men? No. There is $20 down and $60 to go. Mr. Eddie Bracken coming up. Mr. Bracken? Did you uh, use any portion of your body to do that? <laughs> well, uh, Mr. Bracken, there is on, on just the action of going on a trip. Naturally, your whole body is, is involved. I see. Uh, do we, uh, would it help us to know where you went? 
But I don't think so. No. I, I don't think no. so. It is not mentioned. Would it help us to know what you did? Why, I guess no. 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 <laughs> Uh, were more than 20 women involved in this? Yes, there were. W was it in the hundreds? No, not right now. Was it any kind of a society that this uh, group of women belonged to? It could have been. Yes, it was, it actually, yes, it was, in yes. effect. Was, was it, it was like the DAR? No. Oh, that's, uh, the name of the group is irrelevant, Mr. Bracken, but it was an orga organized group uh, that went with him. There's $30 down and $50 to go. Miss Kitty Carlisle, please. Was your work with this group more mental or physical? <laughs> he said he had a good time. <laughs> uh, but it, it hasn't been, a, excuse me, Miss Carlisle, it hasn't been established that he did any, any work with this, with this group. But did you do any work with this group? No. None at all. This was purely for pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> Would it help us to know what kind of transportation took you on this trip? Like, was it, did you go by sea? Yes, you went by sea. You went by sea. You went abroad. Yes, we went abroad. You went to it. There is $40 down and $40 to go. Sorry to cut you off, Miss Carlisle. This is the panel's last chance around. Bill Cullen, please. Was the fact that you went with a great many people, more than 20, is that important to the secret? Quite different. We have established that there were more than 20 and less than 100. Were there uh, more than 50? Yep. Yes. Were there more than 60? Mm -hmm. No. Were there more than 55? Mm -hmm. Yes. 56? Mm -hmm. 57? 58? 58 is it. Now, we know that he went someplace with 58 women. <laughs> now, where did he go with 58 women? That is Mr. Zelensky's <laughs> Did you go to the YMCA with 58 women? <laughs> was, this, was this trip to celebrate something like an anniversary? Oh, no, I just thought of something. It couldn't have been the honey... Uh, was this a honeymoon that you went on the trip? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Zelinsky and his wife had scheduled a trip to Bermuda on their honeymoon. It turned out that the secretarial club to which Mrs. Z Zelinsky belonged was going at the same time, so they killed two birds with one stone. She took both trips at once, and Mr. Zelinsky with her. Thanks for making the prom home permanent. <laughs> and now, let's welcome our next contestant of the evening, a very charming lady. Would you tell the panel what your name is, please, and where you're from? I'm Mrs. Walter Bush, and I'm from Concord, Massachusetts. And I have been <laughs> talking to Mrs. Bush before the show, and she just couldn't be cuter. Now then, Mrs. Bush, if you will remind me of your secret, we will wonderful? tell it to the folks at home. You must have quite a score by now, huh? <laughs> All right, I'll tell you, to help classify this secret, I will tell you that it is something that Mrs. Bush was, and we will start the questioning off with our newest panel member, Miss Kitty Carlisle, please. Well, this thing that you were, Mrs. Bush, was it in the, order, in the nature of an, of, a, of an award? Did you win something? No. Was it, was it uh, the first time anyone had ever done such a thing? Mm-hmm. Well, did this involve sports? Would you call it sport? It wasn't at the time. Uh, no, I don't think it comes in the field of sports, although it was a rather sporting thing to do at the time. Did it involve hmm. any other people? Well, how would I answer that? I, I think... Oh, oh, uh, um, Only yourself. <laughs> let's not give it away, Mrs. Boyce. Uh, uh, other people were indirectly involved. involved. No animals. Were animals involved? No. No. Uh, $10 down and $70 <laughs> to go. Thank you, Miss Carlisle. Now, Bill Cullen. Uh, this thing that you did, Mrs. Bush, was it unique? Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. did anyone else do this thing that you did? Well, no. No. No one else can share her secret. No. Oh. Were you, uh, were you alone when you did this? I mean, were you unique? You were unique in the fact you were the only person who did this, is that right? Mm-hmm. Has it been done by anybody since? Not. Uh, exactly. Not precisely, no. Oh, dear. Um, <laughs> well, were you first to do something? Mm -hmm. You did something first. 
sir. She was the first to do something. There's $20 right. down and $60 to go, Miss Jane Meadows. Mrs. Please. Bush, would it help me to know where you did this? Did you do it indoors? Uh, outdoors. Outdoors. Yes. Uh, there wasn't another human being involved in the doing of it? Well, I shouldn't... I would say only very sure. indirectly. Was there an object involved? Mm -hmm. An object? Uh, I'm afraid I don't understand just what you mean. Was, well, there, there, was, was, was there another object yes. involved in this? Did you do you something did, yes. to yes. an object? Do something, of course. You did. I'm sorry. Would this object be important? Would it help me if I got the object? It certainly mm -hmm. would. Is the object something larger than I could hold in my hand? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is this object a mechanical object? Yes. Is it a form of transportation? Yes. Is it an automobile? Mm-hmm. Is it something that you did to an automobile? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm, I'm afraid, panel, we have, we have guessed the secret and gone right past it. Bill Cullen established it was... Well, no, I guess we haven't. Keep going. Oh. I'm sorry. No, I'm Ooh, sorry. Are you the first woman to drive an automobile? Yes. Yeah. 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 And Mrs. Bush, you only won $20. I feel like I gave some oh, of that no. away. I'm going <laughs> to double it and make it 40 And I want to tell you that, that, she did have, that she did have the first driver's license that any woman ever had in the USA. We have a picture of her in her automobile at the time. Can we show it to the folks at home? What kind of a car is that? A locomobile steamer. A, a locomobile steamer. And here is her license. Then it says on the license, you can't see it, but I can read it to you, Steam Engineer's License. <laughs> it was in the year 1900. So there's your... Look at the size of it. That's, yeah. the, that's the original You couldn't wallet. carry this in your wallet. Thank you so much, well. Mrs. Bush from Prom Home Permanent. Here's your money. <laughs> now it is time for us to have our panel go to work on tonight's special guest. Ladies and gentlemen, the world's number one party giver, Miss Elsa Maxwell. All right, now, it is uh, time for us to go to work on Miss Maxwell and try to find her secret, which I tell you is just a wonderful one. We will play the game exactly as before, except in this case, any money that Miss Maxwell may win uh, will go to her favorite charity. Now, will you whisper your secret to me, please, and we'll show it to the folks at home. <laughs> I'll have to throw a party for you sometime. All right, I'll tell you what. All I can tell you, panel, is that this is a negative secret. We'll start the questioning of Mr. Eddie Bracken, please. <laughs> Good boy, <It's> Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a negative secret. That's right. It's something that uh, you, you shouldn't, wouldn't, didn't, wouldn't, hadn't, <laughs> won't, don't, uh, this type of thing. Take it all. It's all right. <laughs> uh, no, it is something that you don't do. Yes. That makes it easy. <laughs> Have you ever done this? Once only. Don't you miss it? No. <laughs> uh, is this uh, something that you would do, uh, could you do this on a moonlight night? Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Would, you, would your lips be involved? Yes. <laughs> Miss Maxwell, don't tell me you've never been kissed. <laughs> I have been kissed. <laughs> More than once. <laughs> Ten dollars down at Buzzer got you out of that very nicely, Mr. Bracken. Ten dollars down, seventy dollars to go, Miss Kitty Carlisle. Well, I can't believe there's anything that Miss Elsa Maxwell hasn't done. I've known her a great many years. Kitty? And I think you've done most everything. Most everything is kind of wonderful. But if this involves the mouth, does it involve uh, any kind of eating? No. Drinking? It might be. It might be. Does it involve spirit? It might be. Uh, you, you've never, you've only been drunk once in your life? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, do you do this in public if you were to do it more than once? Yes. You would. The thing but, that she doesn't do... Yes. She, does, she doesn't do, but she would do it in public. public yeah. If she did, uh, with, with lots of people or with just one or two friends? Doesn't matter. Doesn't alone. Matter. Has been done alone. And it involves people. spirit? Great many people. It involves uh, imbibing some kind of liquid? Yes. There is $20 down and $60 to go. Mr. Bill Cullen, please. This thing that you don't ever do, Miss Maxwell, is something that I'm on. 
not ever do if I never had the chance to do myself? <laughs> I'd like to rephrase that question. But <laughs> Please do. We got left at Albuquerque someplace. That's a pretty negative approach, all right? The thing that you don't do, Miss Maxwell, are you proud that you don't do this thing? Not at all. You're not proud about not it? Not a bit. Is it that you never have had, except the once you'd mentioned there, is it that you only once had uh, uh, spirits in your life, that you only once... Well, I've had took? spirits. I have them now. Not those kinds of spirits. Always the best of spirits, all my life. Oh, the, those kind. Well, the other kind of spirits. Uh, the, the kind of spirits. Is it that you have never uh, had anything to drink in your life except that once? Is that it? Oh, yeah. Now, Miss, Ma Miss Maxwell, I think that everybody, uh, knowing that you are the number one party giver in the world, uh, probably assumes that uh, it is part of your, uh, your, your life uh, to, to drink at parties. I, I try to give that impression, <laughs> because I don't disapprove at all of drinking. Mm -hmm. Myself, I never liked it, don't like it, never do drink. Mm -hmm. So I go through the motions. Wherever I am, if it's a big palm tree behind me, I just do that. <laughs> I've often been at parties with Miss Carlyle and her husband, her sweet husband, Mossad. Cocktails are passed. I grab one, I grab another, I take two or three over the palm tree. <laughs> Never do that. That's what happened to the ivy after That's right. <laughs> <laughs> It'll either kill it or the palm tree will go 14 inches in a night. I know where I'm going to hide. I'm going to hide behind the palm tree. <laughs> well, Miss Maxwell, we, as a gift from us, we, we want to give you this because we think it'll help you at parties. If anybody offers this to you, just have this and you can't possibly drink it. <laughs> Thanks so much from prom, Elsa Maxwell. It's been just great having you with us. Now, let us welcome our next contestant to I've Got a Secret. Come right in. Will you tell the panel what your name is, please, and where your home is? This is George Benjamin, Nashua, New Hampshire. Nashua, New Hampshire. All right. Now, uh, Mrs. Benjamin has a secret for our panel to discover. If you will tell it to me, I will reveal it to the folks at home. <laughs> Not recently, I hope. <laughs> no, not recently. All right. Not today. Anybody in television? <laughs> to, help ta to, help classify, to help classify this secret panel, I will tell you this, that this was something that was done to Mrs. Benjamin, and we'll start the questioning with Bill Cullen. Uh, it is Mrs. Benjamin, is that right? That's right. Miss Benjamin, is this something that was done to you by Mr. Benjamin? <laughs> Well, he wouldn't appreciate your asking that question either. He's down oh. in the audience. Oh, he's, he's in the audience? Well, then was it done to you by anybody famous? Anybody we might all know? No, I don't think... Oh, you might know him, but I don't think he's famous. You might know him? Oh, sure. Is this done by a particular him. friend of mine? <laughs> uh, I, I'm afraid, Miss Benjamin, we've misled him a little bit by saying you might know him. Um, let's just... Just to answer his question, your question was, was this done by anybody famous? famous. Our answer will be a flat no. That's all. <laughs> all right. Uh, did this uh, thing that was done to you, Mrs. Benjamin, bring about any kind of a change in you at all? <laughs> uh, uh, temporary, yes. Only temporary? Do you have this thing done to you regularly then? <laughs> What it is, what well, it is. the thing that was done to you that you don't have done regularly, does it in any way uh, make you more attractive? Or, or help you... No, it wouldn't. I, I hardly think so, no. Well, does it bring about any noticeable change to you as far as your friends or family or people that know you? <laughs> well, we'd have to say temporarily, I should think it would bring about a noticeable change unless you have very lenient friends and family. Ten dollars down and seventy dollars to go, Miss Jane Meadows. Please. Mrs. Benjamin, was this done by a man? To no. you? It was done by a woman? No. Was it done by something other than a human being? Yes. Was it done by something in the animal kingdom? Yes. Would it be a four-legged animal? Yes. Would it be a small animal such as a dog or a cat? Yes. Would it be a dog? No. A cat? No. Would it be in the rat family? Uh, 
Not, not being a zoologist, I can't, can't say definitely. I think not. $20 down and $60 to go. Mr. Eddie Bracken, Would please. this animal uh, look like a cat? <laughs> I mean, you weren't sprayed by a skunk, by the way. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Will you tell them the whole gruesome, well, visible... Well, that's a stinking thing to do. <laughs> Will you tell them the whole gruesome, miserable story, please? Well, I went out to empty some rubbish, and I stooped down to put the pan down. Something sprayed me in the face, and I got so frightened. I didn't know what it was. I didn't even know what it was, because I live right in the city. And I ran city, in the house just... crying. My eyes were smiling. I thought that... Uh, Somebody threw acid at me, and my husband says, hmm, that's a skunk. How did he know? <laughs> he Somehow or other, he got wind of it, and he... <laughs> we can keep going on this subject. And by the way, may I ask you, how long ago this, this happened? Uh, it was about three years ago this time, in the fall. How long did it take you to get rid of the odor? <laughs> Well, as it happened, it was raining, you know, out, and I had put a coat on with a fur collar, and I put a tam on my hair, and, of course, it just got me in the face. And uh, I just threw the coat and hat away, and then I had to wash my face. You know, Paramount had a a similar situation like this. They got sprayed by one of my pictures. (laughs) Pretty bad. Well, I would like to put in one small word of defense here. You're not going to believe this. I could probably use it as a secret on the show, but I had a pet skunk. And they make delightful pets. Of course, I had his opinion removed. <laughs> and there was quite a debate in our family when, when someone gave us his pet skunk, what we, should, what we should name the skunk, and one of my children came up with a perfect name for it. He named the skunk Confidentially. <laughs> <laughs> and I, unfortunately, tried to tame the skunk as best I could and couldn't get very far with it. And finally, I gave it away on my daytime television show as a pet. And I did it more as a joke than anything else. How many people do you think in this country wrote in to win a skunk? 10,000 people oh. rode in to win a skunk. Oh, and I finally sent the skunk to a lady up in Syracuse, and she has sent me pictures. She's now got the skunk sitting up on all fours, begging for things, and they are the best of friends. He's a swell smeller, a feller. <laughs> <laughs> I can't thank you enough for coming. I'm afraid that uh, $20 won't buy you a new hat and coat, but maybe you can get a dry cleaning job done. And thank you very much, Mrs. Benjamin, for being with us. Now, next week at this same time, my friends, we are going to try to discover the secret which is being kept by Miss Linda Christian. That I will enjoy. And there will be other interesting people, too, to challenge our... Hmm? (laughs) There will be other interesting people aboard to challenge our panel of experts. And may I say good night to our panel. You did a wonderful job tonight. First, Bill Cullen. And Jane Meadows. Eddie Bracken. And Kitty Carlisle. I will see you next week, my friends, here on I've Got a Secret, together with all of us. Until then, this would be Gary Moore saying bye-bye for the whole gang. Be very kind to each other, will you? Bye-bye out there.